What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at an ESC motor combo with programming card or Wi-Fi programming card from a Secure Mall. This is the Secure Escape 3.2 uh, ESC programmer. This is the ESC. It's got a built-in BEC. They say that the BEC will put out a maximum of 12 volts at three amps i guess that must be for a drone because i think that's where these uh little outboard motors came from at first is made specifically for a drone i think you can download the firmware and program this for a drone or an rc climbing car they call it but uh comes with it i think everything you need except there's no instructions so we have hopefully we ain't gonna burn nothing up you can tell it comes straight over from the motherland but uh we're gonna put it in one of these cars i think we might put it in the i can't even find it now where did it go up there i think we might put it in the scent because it's a pretty light truck it's like it'd be a good fit we'll put it in the scent and uh see how it does all right we got it out here on the rc treadmill we're gonna run it a little bit see what it'll run first we'll check the temperature of it uh, before we start and the temperature is probably like the temperature it's in this garage right now. It's saying it's about 80 degrees. So let's run it a little bit. This here is, it's just basically tells the overdrive. That's the front axle, that's the rear axle. It tells how many RPMs it's running. So, you know, if you were wondering about this, when you get the bottom number at 100, whatever you got left over on top, above 100 is your overdrive. So let's just go ahead and get this thing going. Let's run it a little bit and uh, see if we can just pump it up with the, Throttle trim. She's starting to turn. She won't do a whole lot, so we're running her on up. That's uh, that's pretty good. I think that's about the same as you'd have on a Fusion SE. You got 634 on the front. 532 on the back. Hope you can still hear me. And we're going to point it at the motor. The motor is staying pretty much. It went up a little bit. Probably about three or four degrees, maybe five degrees altogether. Yes, yeah, staying, staying pretty consistent. This thing has a real slow crawl to it too. It's getting a little offline there. I put that on the wrong side of the axle. It's got a real slow crawl. See if I can break that down a little bit for you. Get that on the right. I should be on the right side of the axle, but it'll be all right. You can see it will get it will get down there. I don't know much about this ESC motor combo. It didn't take me long to put it in the uh, scent. All I had to do is remove the pan hard bar, one of the bolts out of it, drop it down, it went right in. Uh, I didn't try to uh, program it yet. I'll try that later when I get more time. But I've seen where other people was having problems. Uh, like you have to download a firmware that's made for the RC crawler car. That's what they call it. <laughs> but uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Let's take it out here on the rocks and see what it do. I weighed the truck before I took the stock electronics out. It's 2158, 60 in the front and 40 in the back. The next one is with the new electronics in, it's 2105, 6040, the difference of 53 grams. It's a little bit louder, but I think that might be because of the mesh. Might hit the mesh a little tight on the, uh, on the truck. I've never been able to get that line there. I think a buddy of mine has got it before, but I've never got it. Uh, 
I think the name of this company is Secure. It's from Secure Mall. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you're interested in it, like I said, I think it's, I'm not really sure. I think it might be uh, $70 US currency, maybe. There's that slow crawl. You can see it just hit it get down there. There is a pretty significant, I guess, weight savings on this thing. That's why everybody goes to a uh, outrunner. Most of you comp people that do a lot of comps, they go to an outrunner because of the the low weight. And there you see why well, I'm not a cop driver. <laughs> it was really straightforward to uh, put in like I was saying I just took the pan hard mount bar screw out slid it up put it right in there no problem at all um, it don't have an on and off switch on it but I think most of you comp motors like this don't you now they're just trying to save weight the best way they can I could be wrong but that's what I think I don't know Got a real low control. Yeah, I think I got something going on with my mesh, but it'll be all right. I'll be a little tight. This is my first outrunner. To be honest with you, I've never, uh, they're always so expensive. I mean, you know, time you get an ESC and an outrunner motor, you're talking a pretty good bit of money when you could just throw a Hobby Wing Fusion in there. About, I don't know, half the price or a little, a little more than half the price. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that's it for the secure motor and ESC combo. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll put a link to the product down in the description. You can make up your own mind. But I hope you enjoyed this video.